and welcome back to Love Your Food. Today's recipe is going to be a very simple and delicious vinaigrette style coleslaw. Now of course we can have a creamy coleslaw or we can have this more oil and vinegar style coleslaw and uh, we're going to do the other one in a future video for sure. But being as though it's still grilling season and this is a perfect side dish for burgers, we're going to show you this one this week. So let's get started with a couple of the ingredients. So really it's very simple. We're going to have some carrots, some green onions, and this is a whole head of Napa cabbage. For this style of coleslaw, we do prefer the Napa cabbage. Now, if your outer leaves are a little wilted or a little grimy, they don't look quite as nice as the rest of the cabbage, just peel that outer layer off and use the rest of the head. We like the Napa because the whole head of cabbage is really easy to use for the coleslaw. We can really make coleslaw out of the entire head of cabbage. The leaf is tender and the stems, if they're cut nice and thin, are also nice and uh, crunchy but not tough. So we do really like the Napa cabbage for this. It's also a little more suitable for the vinaigrette than the mayonnaise. We're going to be using a different kind of cabbage for the uh, mayonnaise style coleslaw. Now, if you are going to use uh, a more traditional uh, cabbage for this, do make sure you get the slices really, really quite thin. You might want to use a like a salad shooter. If your slices here are a little too big because the leaves get stuck or whatever, don't be afraid to give a little chop. Um, so, you know, if, if you're using a, a standard cabbage, you might want to use like a salad shooter or a, a fine, fine mandolin. Now, once you get down to about here where it's more um, more of the stem than it is the leafy part of the leaves, we're going to cut it in half, and we are going to use our mandolin for this. So nice thin slices on the mandolin. You want to get it nice and thin. Now be careful, of course. With your mandolin, they are absolutely vicious, and you don't want bits of you in your salad at all. So make sure you use your handguard, and you can go all the way down right to the end of the root. And if you find that you've gone a little too far and there are a few little pieces of root in there, just take them out. Other than that, everything's fine. Those uh, That Napa cabbage is really nice. For the carrots, if you have the really fine julienne on a mandolin, you can use it, but... It is much easier to use a cheese grater like this. Just use the broad holes on your cheese grater. It's just as good. You get nice thin little shoestring carrots. And then for our green onions, we are just going to slice them nice and small, good little fine rounds of green onions, and we'll use the whole thing. It gives it a really nice variety from the green part all the way down to the slightly stronger whites at the bottom. We also don't like throwing away food, so we want to use the whole thing. Now for this, you definitely want to use a sharp knife. Um, green onions aren't going to go well through a mandolin, so uh, this, is, this is where you want to keep your knife very nice and sharp. And then it goes. So we're going to take this, uh, add some salt in there. Now that's going to bring out some of the juices from the veggies we have in there. So the carrots and the cabbage are going to release a little bit of juice that's going to make it a little um, a little juicier after we've added our dressing because we're not going to add much dressing, just enough to give it a little bit of flavor. A little bit of black pepper is always required. And just enough to give it a little bit of a little bit of kick. And here's our dressing. So we've got some really nice canola oil, some apple cider vinegar, and a little bit of mustard powder. So our mustard powder is going to go in. And then that is our vinegar. Now in this case, as I said, that's uh, apple cider vinegar. 
And then whatever nice salad oil you like, we have this excellent cold pressed canola oil that we love to use. Really full flavored, it's delicious. But whatever you want, this should be whatever your your favorite uh, salad oil is. And you want it about two to one oil to vinegar. And you do want to make sure that everything you're using here has a lot of flavor. So uh, I recommend against just plain white vinegar. Uh, you want something with a little bit of flavor. So white wine vinegar, even red wine vinegar, apple cider vinegar, and then a nice flavorful oil as well. So we're going to get that just sort of whisked together until it's well combined. And we're going to bring back our salad. So as you can see, it doesn't look like a whole lot of dressing, but it doesn't need to be. We're going to add that over our... Uh, our shredded veggies here and then we're just going to stir it in make sure everything is good and well combined fork is not really a good tool for this so we're going to bring out the tongs So just make sure that everything is well combined everything has a good coating of uh, of some of the salt we put on top and a little bit of that dressing just touching everything and you want to make sure it's all good well combined and it's really important that you note at this point it's not ready to eat yet we can't make this one in front of our guests it's got to sit a little while it's got to let the flavors come together it's got to let that dressing sort of meld in with the flavors of the vegetables and all that sort of thing so uh, we want to store it in the fridge so we're going to put it in this nice plastic snap lid container and that's going to go in the fridge from anywhere from 4 to 12 hours before serving. And that's it. So really fast to make. It does need to wait a little bit before you eat it. But man, it's so delicious. Served great with barbecue grilled items. Awesome at a picnic. And uh, it can also be uh, leftovers can be used as an ingredient in stir fry or fried rice or something like that. So if you like this recipe, please do like and subscribe. And let us know in the comments if there's anything you'd like to see Chef Caleb try on the channel. And remember to love your food.